Aloha! This is Sky with FNN, Feminist News Network, the feminist news that's right for you. Thanks and welcome to the Rainbow Room. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. Because you're knowing. Alright. Now, let's get into it. What are we going to talk about? Brett Kavanaugh and the hearing. For what? For the abuse that needs to be done with an FBI investigation. Now, we can take a look at some of this because it just pisses you off. It just makes you scallywagging mad to watch it. Why? Because when she talks about the incident, and describes it like so many women have gone through at the same age. Yes. Hashtag me too at 15. All right. And um, it, it's hard. It's rough. But I'm going to tell you something. I remember. And I have still have the same feelings now about that incident as I did back then. And those people, once they were confronted years and years later, and I'm talking about when I'm grown, almost 20 years later after confronting them with, uh, um, you know, I, I didn't even get the response that I wanted. You know, all I got was denial. And that's what happened today. And the hearing in the Capitol. Kavanaugh was just flat out showing his ass. His fake crying, his defiant ways, cutting off women, talking. Yeah, uh-huh. Now, I'm not a psychologist, but I have been a social worker. I have been an LPN. I have had a nonprofit with a rare disease and have worked with women that have been through abuse. And that man was showing his anger. Hello, he was a powder keg underneath that. And nine times out of ten, his ass is still getting drunk. And you can see it in the way he's talking. And this is our next Supreme Court judge? I don't think so. And they're going to try to force this vote through Friday. I don't know how this thing is going to end up and turn out for Friday. But I'm going to tell you right now, either way, it is damn ass wrong to put him in a position that's just going to turn into a nightmare for America. Who wants abortion overruled? He does. He does. Who wants to set us back at least a hundred years back to the time before Jim Crow? He does. Now we gotta get this uh, guy off of there. Now we have met this kind before on the college campus. The white, the privileged, the young, the cocky. And I haven't seen that change in his attitude and the way he talked at all. This is not what we need, America. Get it together. Now, these people like Grassley, Will Orrin Hatch, and this woman that was sitting there, plain Jane, just, she should be ashamed to even want to be that woman in history. You know what I mean. So, let's not compare this to Anita Hill. Because, you know what? I don't think they're giving this woman as much chance as they gave her. And she explained it, just like Anita Hill did. 
and she put you there when she when they said what was the one thing that you really do remember and she said the laughing them just laughing together at her that's wrong you felt it when she said it and hashtag we do believe the victim. And while he was talking a bunch of bullshit about his religion, so that means he, he had religion all of a sudden. You know what? When you're running for the Supreme Court and you're ready to uh, turn your life over to the devil to set back laws that were set more than 20, 30 years ago, you will lie and ha get religion real quick, won't you? But all those uh, Republicans that you know are half of them are two-timing and, and uh, not doing nothing with their wife but doing something with a boy. They, the, okay, I went there. I went there. Let me not go there with what I really think about these people. Okay, you know what? This shouldn't be happening. There was plenty of people that were marching at the Capitol during the same time of this hearing. And believe me, those people were heard. They were thick. They were deep. It looked like there had to be at least as much more than a thousand or so people that were marching. Because it never ended. And I watched it all, a course, from beginning to end, on democracy now. And nothing infuriated me more than his, his smug-ass, quick, snap-ass talking to the women on the panel. Now you, now, you know that wife of his had something to say. And to use those children as props to bring them in. that They weren't there today, were they? He didn't have those props today. Yeah, because then you might, they might just find out what daddy is really about. But something tells me the wife and the children already know. Mm -hmm. And if you agree with me, contact me at FeministNewsIn at gmail.com. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, Feminist News Network, and my Feminist News Network YouTube channel. Click the click the subscribe button and like on the bell. Ding, ding, ding. All right. So, if you're concerned, contact me. Still looking for sassy reporters to join the Feminist News team. So, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right.